So OCalc Pro supports a large number of land-based formats, um, imagery, maps, shape files, um, um, Osmos vector tiles, and so on and so forth. Let's look at one of the ways you can use a commercially available cloud-based map provider to give you satellite imagery, for example, uh, that you can help use design your line. So if I um, go, for example, to Bing Maps, so I will go over to um, bingmapsportal.com. This is where you get a valid license key that allows you to legally use the satellite imagery and the land-based imagery from Bing, which is actually a very good source, very high performance, very accurate, very up-to-date satellite imagery. It's the USGS imagery, latest and greatest. I sign in with my um, account. Now, if you have not um, set uh, registered and you aren't a developer, it's free to register as a developer. You go through, um, you know, setting up your account and so on and so forth. When you do that, it'll, you'll get assigned a key for the thing you want to get at. So we go to My Keys. <sighs> And I apologize, I'm going to have to blur this out so people don't use my key. But um, here's all the keys, and I have a key for line design. I copy and I copy the key text. I go to OCal Pro. I select Bing Satellite Map. I hit Configure, and it says, "What's the license key?" I paste the value in. I am in compliance with all applicable terms. I agree. And then I turn on display maps. And now you see that the satellite imagery has now come up showing, you know, these happen to be backyard poles, but showing the structures on a, on a map land base. And I have both my map and my vector tiles turned on. I can turn them on and off and so on and so forth. So there's a large number. Uh, you can use OpenStreetMap. You can have on-premises servers, which we discussed in another video. You can talk to Google Maps if you get a key from them, Bing Maps. And you can, uh, you can also talk to ArcGIS servers if you get a key from them. In all cases where you aren't using the OpenStreetMap on-prem servers, you have to have a key to legally use this data. And that is something that you don't get from Osmos. You get that from the map provider. But the the method by which you do that is pretty much the same no matter who you do it with, so it's pretty straightforward, as we just demonstrated.